In this video, we're going to be going over what you should be wearing underneath your jujitsu gi. Hey guys, it's Andre from Jujitsu Junction, and today we're going to be talking about what you should and shouldn't wear underneath your jujitsu gi. There are really three common options for what people wear underneath their jujitsu gi. The first one is wearing a rash guard, the second one is just wearing a normal shirt, and the third is going bare chested. As for the bottom half, you usually see compression shorts, spats, normal athletic shorts, and sometimes just underwear. How these get paired up really depends on the individual, but for the most part, if somebody's wearing a rash guard, they're likely to be wearing compression shorts or spats as well. And if they're wearing a normal t-shirt, they'll probably be wearing athletic shorts or just underwear underneath their gi. I personally wear a rash guard and compression shorts for everyday jujitsu training. I find that it is quite helpful to do this because it reduces the friction of the gi against my skin. It can reduce abrasions and cuts that can happen. And I just like having another layer of fabric between me and the mats. I believe that having the extra coverage and stopping cuts and abrasions from happening really help reduce the chances of getting ringworm or staph and other mat diseases. However, maybe not everybody wants to be decked out in spam index all the time. You can definitely just wear normal workout clothes underneath your gi. I still recommend that you go with compression shorts underneath because it really helps prevent impacts to the goods. If you are planning to train gi and you don't have a rash guard or a shirt on, you have to realize that most of your training partners are not going to be a fan of this. Anytime that I see somebody show up to a gi class without wearing a shirt or rash guard under their gi, they tend to get made fun of. Usually it's lighthearted, but really people People are just trying to get you to put on a rash guard or a shirt. However, there are instances in which training without a shirt is a good idea. A lot of tournaments don't allow you to wear a rash guard or a shirt underneath your gi, so it makes sense to get at least a few rounds in without a shirt on, especially if you've never competed this way before. My first gi tournament was like this. I actually didn't read the rules and I showed up wearing a rash guard. They made me take it off and it went okay, but it felt really foreign and it kind of got me off track. I am really a fan of matching my training conditions to my competition conditions whenever possible. Hey guys, I appreciate you watching and I hope that you found this video helpful. And if you did, I would really appreciate it if you smash that like button and consider subscribing. It really helps me out and I will see you in the next video.